Hey Patreon, once again, uh, thank you for your support. Um, I wanted to show you uh, basically a breakdown of this spread offense, in particular the gun split slot, gun slot offset uh, offense. Uh, I uh, was, uh, I, I've, I've been labbing this particular scheme um, to be more efficient online. I actually jumped into it with really li little lab opportunities um, and actually played a really good opponent and I got destroyed. Uh, so I had to come back and adjust. One of the one of the issues I was having uh, going against this guy is that he jumped into like Tampa 2 and uh, he took away um, the one route that I could expose Tampa 2 uh, and then he just stayed in it and I didn't really have any kind of adjustments. So went back in the lab to go ahead and look for content concepts. Um, I just froze. Um, I was trying to hit him with a run and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just go and take a look at the scheme. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're going to be, we only have access to two formations in this scheme because it's two running backs, three wide receivers. Uh, we've got the slot offset. We've got this, the, the split slot. Um, as far as audibles, we're going to leave the slants. This is a good play to go and beat Tampa 2, which I just this is stuff that just left my brain uh, in game, and I couldn't remember it. Got a halfback sweep uh, uh, play. We've got the deep curls, which is somewhat redundant. We're going to go ahead and swap that out for this play, which is play action fullback slide. This gives me a cover six destroyer, uh, cover four beater, and then it's got some pretty good stuff against match. Play action halfback wheel. I've tried to run this a dozen different times. I just don't like how the play works, the levels, the, the, the spacing. So I'm going to swap that out for the slot post angle. Uh, and then for this offense, uh, the slot offset, we've got slants middle. We have the RPO peak bubble. We have the shakes and we have the motion stutter and go. Uh, I've labbed a little bit with shakes. Um, it's good if I actually ran it to somebody that runs cover two. Uh, but for the most part, I, I don't want any redundancy in this scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out um, the slants play with speed option, which was a base play that I was calling out of the huddle. Switched it up now. I'm actually going to use it as, an, as a quick audible. And then shakes, I'm going to swap out for this particular play, which essentially is going to be um, the motion Y cross. Uh, this has got a nice crosser route. I've got a dig, and then I've got a route that releases against man pressure and kind of goes from there. Uh, I just have to make adjustments accordingly. Now, out of the huddle, I'm going to call a couple different plays. I'm going to call the read option. I might call the shovel option, uh, but that's somewhat redundant. Um, uh, the other formation, I might call the halfback uh, cross screen. Uh, and then uh, another play I might call might be the, the halfback off tackle. And then I might call the RPO read bubble. Most of the times, I'm going to go ahead and call this read option is my base play. We're going to run this against uh, basically cover uh, cover one and kind of go from there uh, and uh, take our adjustments from there. Now, uh, let's just go and run cover one. And I want to back this up. We're going to respot the ball. Now, um, read option, real simple. Just hold the controller. Try to look for your blocks. If you got a guy that's running a lot of man lock type stuff, you can go ahead and motion this guy over. And essentially what that does is it's going to go ahead and, and uh, give you probably maybe a little bit better blocking lanes um, uh, where you actually can get a, a nice little inside zone. Also, what that will do is it's going to feed off of this. So if I jump into this play and motion this guy over, what this does is it actually kind of gives me a double team to do the pitch play on the block. Um, and I also can do uh, the pitch play on the back side and pull the defender out of that hole like so and do the pitch on the opposite side to catch the opponent off guard. Now, I like to run the pitch stock. I don't like to do too much motion unless I got a guy that's running zone coverages and I can leverage it. But really when I'm doing the speed option, I'm looking for basically a lack of defenders out there. So I'm going to speed option pitch the play, and then uh, basically the outside corner is going to be wide open. And if my, if my wide receiver can hold his block, uh, that can turn into a huge play. And if he makes a bad tackle, it can hurt, turn into a huge play. Uh, what's cool about the speed option, too, is you can flip it to the opposite side, and then you can pitch it off. Now, one thing I do want to let you know, speed option, you can get yourself in some serious trouble with it. So that's one of the reasons why I jumped into an audible. Uh, is that uh, sometimes you can get yourself like that. So I, I basically mistimed it deliberately. So if you're not, your timing's not good with the speed option, um, you can you can get these 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 cheesy turnovers, which could be 
um, a huge operist, uh, a, a big, uh, you know, a huge thing that can hurt hurt you a lot. So um, sweep. Go ahead and just motion this out and just try to go and hit to, hit to the outside. This is good if your opponent is punch, uh, bunching up the, the line. And all you're really going to do is just try to look to the next level or so. So it allows you to go and stretch it to the outside. One thing you can do with a sweep too is that you can go ahead and take this guy and motion him out like that. And that just kind of throws off the alignments a little bit. And then you can cut it back up. Conversely, I think you could go ahead and take that running back and put him on the opposite side with a sweep. So you can motion this guy out over here. And he goes up on the line. And this gives you a chance to go to the run of the outside. He actually tries to come out and block off that. He's not going to get out to it. So uh, if you're using the read option, you could do the same thing. Motion this guy out. And this will kind of give you like a split block like so. And I think what you can do is probably what's a really smart thing to do is go ahead and motion this guy out because we'll have a couple of uh, run or a pass play setups like this. We'll kind of get you a standard doubles look. Now, I didn't actually go ahead and hold the, uh, the X button on that. That's just uh, I don't do a lot of read options as far as my scheme is concerned. So I typically don't. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll miss miss a, a block because I do that. But you can see this could be a very good play to do that, and we'll build that around some of the other plays that we're going to be running in this game. Um, now, um, one of the plays, if I've seen a guy's running a lot of man coverage to me, I, I, the play I really like a lot uh, from a pass play is the motion Y cross because this gives me a dig whip concept that I like to do. And if I get press coverage, I'll look to waddle. But my two adjustments, I'm going to do a quick out with the running back because he'll be able to get separation against man coverage. I've got a whip on the back side. So I'm basically uh, uh, stretching my opponent uh, horizontally on both sides of the field so he can't use or weigh those type of routes. He's going to have to drop somebody in, into some type of a zone. Now, this is where I built this play into my scheme. Watch waddle. What I do is I look to the safety, and once the safety pulls out of the deep half, I'll just lob that ball up. Now, typically you want to have your best wide receiver in this position or somebody on par of that, but basically what I'm looking at, looking at this guy right here, I know most uh, majority of the time he's going to get past the coverage, but my first read, if I do see double high safety, is I'm going to watch this guy. If this guy pulls into the middle of the field or comes down, like if this is the opposite side, he comes down, I'm going to go ahead and take that shot up top. I'm going to pass lead to the outside and just lob that ball up, and hopefully I can get a one-play touchdown. I've already, I've already done that online. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some other pass uh, run plays. Uh, RPO read bubble is a good play to go and use uh, in this scheme. Once again, uh, it's just if you get the single coverage, you want to go and uh, basically if no defender goes out there, hit the flat, force your defender to, to, to defend the flats. Uh, conversely, you've got the inside run where they're going to start chasing that bubble, and you can actually run inside. So that's what I love about this, this particular scan. Um, motion, stutter, go. This is not a man play. I'm not going to jump into this against man. Play action, uh, flood, slide is not a play I'm going to use in man either, uh, but I will use the halfback angle post. If I got off coverage chosen, um, the outside receiver is going to be one of my first reads because off coverage, he's basically going to beat that. Conversely, on the other side, I've got uh, basically the uh, other guy uh, in a... Um, uh, in a deep comeback route, takes a little bit longer for that route to develop, but that's considering that he can't press. That's going to basically, and he does do man coverages. I can hit him with this uh, that particular scheme on on that backside. Angle posts. Um, this is another way to go and attack your opponent. Um, if he runs man coverage, you can hit that angle. Usually in a hole coverage, cover one. If a guy a defender comes down, that's actually going to get picked up. So you probably can't depend on that too much. If I'm expecting a lot of man coverage, is what you can do is do a quick out, and that's actually going to get out to the flat route that you can hit. Another adjustment you can do too, if you're expecting a lot of man coverage, is, is that you can hit them with slot posts like so. If I got press coverage, I can do something like this. You can do a, a halfback wheel. 
and I have the luxury of an outrageously fast wide res or a running back that's able to beat my opponent for a one play touchdown if he jumps into it. So that's what's cool about it. You can go ahead and do the same thing with that other play right here. Set this up. You can leave that crossing route is another release, but here's your other opportunity. So that ball was actually under thrown. Uh, he should have lobbed that up a little bit better, but you can see you're going to be able to catch people off guard with that. Um, slants is just the basic play that you can use against your opponent. Um, I'd probably go ahead and run this where I'm going to do uh, uh, the double slants on the wide side of the field. And what that does is it kind of presses the defenders to, to read and react to that. One thing I'll do with slants too is I can do I can do a curl con, uh, a, a, a curl flat concept, and this will basically go ahead and, and give you that curl flat concept. But you also have slants on the back side. And if I want to, I can go ahead and take this wider this running back out here, and this gives me some rub action that I can go ahead and do that. Now, notice that you've got two slants in, in the same area. So what you want to do is you want to try to clear things out. So a good setup, uh, which will kind of give you multiple reads, is so, like so. You can motion this guy out like that. This will give you a rub. If the defender floats up, you can go ahead and hit the flat. And then I've also got uh, this concept uh, on the back side where I've got this guy streaking, I got a deep comeback route, and I've got a def I got my wide receiver going out or my running back going out to the uh, the flat side. Now this is the the coverage that I ran into some issues with was cover two, um, and the simplest thing to do. Okay, so take a look at the the um, defenders. You've got uh, outside leverage with the cornerbacks, but you have inside leverage with the corner hacks, two, two, two high safeties. So um, when I ran into an opponent that was running out, this is my adjustment, and I was looking for uh, uh, Robbie Chosen over the middle, but he was taking that away, and you can see the mid-read actually picks that up right there. So I was running in a situation that didn't really have any kind of adjustment. Uh, I did not have this play in my arsenal, but this is the simplest thing to do. If you see cover two, streak up your, your, your slot receiver and your outside receiver. What's going to happen is this outside receiver is going to be wide open for a uh, or, uh, for an easy play right over the middle, uh, like on the sidelines. Uh, what's cool about it too is that you can you can run this on the other side. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this on the other side. So you can do some window dressing with your opponent. Motion the sky over. You got Waddle on another uh, a, whoever's the wide side of the field. And you've got yourself a huge completion where you're picking up like you know 20, 30 yards with that particular that route play accommodation. Um, angle post is not probably the best play to use. You can see right here this that defender actually kind of slid in and played that wheel route. One thing you could do is with this uh, is streak up the running back. And that actually will clear out this route against cover two. But a lot of user people, people in user territory will do that. So um, went in the lab and kind of looked at some other types of concepts. What you can do is go ahead and motion this guy over. You got a streak route that's going to clear over the top coverage. You might be able to hit the corner right here. So obviously you want to want to try to turn that into the wide side of the field. We're going to motion this guy over. If I show my guy some, some type of a pitch look or run off that, that might catch him off guard. But you can see how you can actually get that completion right there. So the defender actually floated. So in this situation, what you want to do is you want to provide a complement route. So what you can do is you could do a, a swing route like this. And that will give you a check down. In case uh, he, in case the defender floats, but typically it won't, and now that's going to expose that cover two coverage. 
one play that I left into the scheme specifically for this uh, this this uh, play was the motion stutter go. This is good against cover four and then cover two. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this. I have to streak up the slot receiver because I need him to release and pull the defenders up. But watch what happens on the outside. This basically kind of dumbs out um, the the defensive back. So that yeah, that was a, 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 a not a normal shell that you normally see. Streak this up. The defender gets himself out of position because he has to play the inside wide receiver streak. And what happens with this play, this play will actually will blow up cover two. So this has been an adjustment I've been making. One, I see cover two because this guy kind of sticks. This defender actually has to play this, this flat route. And by this time, I throw this ball. The other defender can't play it correctly. And I'm able to go and get a big completion for about 20 yards or so. Um, um, another adjustment that you could do with cover two is do this particular concept. Um, we can do this, this uh, over the middle type stuff. And I want to streak up the one uh, wide receiver, but basically the crosser right here will get typically past the, uh, past the coverages. What you could do is if you wanted to make it a little bit more consistent, so you're going to motion this guy over like that. Leave the motion in. And you've got your high-low. And this will get you a nice little completion over the middle of the field. So that's what's cool about this is this is basically uh, several different ways to beat cover two. There's no right or wrong way, but um, it's just the way that you can attack your opponent with cover two. So now versus cover four. Once again, this is where I've actually discovered that this particular play, the motion set or go, is really good if I, against cover four. Now, the only time this will not work is if he's playing cover four drop, but he's playing any kind of match coverages. Uh, this play uh, will blow up match coverages. So watch what happens. This route just completely discovers, uh, blows up match coverage. It just it, it annihilates it, and it's going to basically give you an opportunity to go ahead and get easy yards down the sideline because it dumbs out the, the defensive back. Now, my preference, too, is I like to block my running back. So if I have any pressure coming off the edge, I've got someone that's going to be the same. But you can see how it kind of freezes, and the defensive back over him doesn't play it correctly. So I just look for that particular route. Now, um, really the best way to run this uh, against cover four is to do a streak deep, deep comeback uh, combination. And the reason why is that the defensive back has to play over the top coverage and the comeback is going to be uh, an easy completion. And I think you could probably, you know, you can motion this guy over and do a deep comeback on the back side. So you can hit your opponent on either side with a deep comeback where you can get, you know, easy, you know, 15, 16 yard chunks uh, a yard against them with a high percentage play. Play action slide uh, is another play that I've, I've been using. What this does against match coverage is it dumbs out the flats and you could pick up some pretty cheap yards. There's some matching issues with play action f uh, uh, F slide with uh, the streak and the corner route. Sometimes you might be able to get over the top of the corner route, but really I find that the flat routes are, are a little bit more consistent. So watch uh, the deep comeback route. Defender actually comes down. Uh, to play that, you can actually hit that ball. I find that with matching with the play action slide, um, basically I'm really watching. Watch, see what happens with the defensive back. Uh, the def defender actually just comes out of that area. So you run on a cover four match, guys. You just go ahead and you jump into this. We'll show you cover six a little bit later on. Uh, Halfback angle um, is another play that essentially will give you the quick out. So that's just like a deep comeback route as previously. What you can do is do a wheel route like so. And then it'll kind of give you a matching principle. There is a passing concept called arches that you can jump into. So we're going to go ahead and streak this guy up just to motion him over. And then I'm going to go ahead and wheel him up. And this is a really good passing concept 
to use against your opponent um, that you can use against man coverage and stuff like that. I'd say cover one hole is probably not the best way to go ahead and do this. But what this does, it gives you easy progressions to use against your opponent. And then it also gives you like kind of a little flat route that you can check down. And you've got the, the corner route on the back side. Uh, conversely, you can leave it as a streak or you can do a quick out. And what this does is it actually kind of preoccupies that one defender out there. So against cover four, you can do a flat or a, a, or a basically any kind of a, a route. And this is going to give you an opportunity to hit that deep comeback route as, a, as an easy progression. All right, so against cover three, once again, I'm going to go ahead and use the same type of passing concept, just a street comeback route. And a lot of times what's going to happen is it's going to get a defender out of position where you can get yourself some pretty easy completions with, with uh, slants. So streak, streak uh, comeback route. I check the, is it the, the streak and I'd go to the comeback route and I've got the levels under, I've got the basically the flat route underneath it. Um, a great play against cover three uh, is this play, which essentially is uh, going to be um, the uh, s slot post angle. And a lot of times what's going to happen um, is, okay, <laughs> that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Another great play is going to be the slot post angle. Uh, and what I like to do is I like to wheel up my running back. My first read is going to be this quick out. Uh, if there's a deep third, he has to play that type of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and wheel this guy up. This is just a fast read. And I'm going to keep popping that, that quick out because the guy has to play that over, over, the, over that lead or the top. I can go ahead and use the same concept as previously. I can streak this guy up against cover three if I single single uh, a single high uh, uh, safety and what that does is it's basically going to open up um, that that post route uh, over the middle and give me a seam opportunity too so let's go ahead and streak this guy up see if I can hit that So you, you've got that opportunity, but probably what you want to do is you want to stress. So what you want to do is you want to stress out the coverages. So I'm going to get rid of that comeback route on the back side because I want to push that deep third. I'm also going to push that middle third. And this is going to give you an opportunity where you can get a big completion with that post route over the top. So this is, you know, what you could do too is you could use the arches concept going to motion this guy over and really what we're doing is we've got basically uh, the uh, angle route and then we have the flat route on the back side motion this guy over we're going to put him in a drag and what's cool about it is that you you can basically just watch that route look underneath it, and then have the angle route on the back side so let's just go and take a look at this again my first read is going to be uh, the outside wide receiver, and I've got basically this flat, and you can see I can actually pick up some good yards if the outside receiver picks up some um, uh, blocking for me. Um, motion stutter doesn't work against cover three, so this is a play I'm not going to use because what happens is that, uh, well, you can't squeeze it in there. It might have been the covered shell, but that's just another play. If, if, if it's a matching principle with cover three, Yeah, he's usually going to play with that guy. But you can see how it actually gets into a little zone. So that's a play that you could just jump into if you know they're playing some type of cover three, cover four, cover two type coverage. Um, this crossing route is actually money. This is okay. So this is how I like to set this up. I've got a deep comeback. I've got a, a quick out. That's going to be my fast read. 
I want to if if I think he's in cover three, I'm gonna go and hit that route right away. So, quick out, hit it. If the defender slides out, he's not going to be able to, no one's going to be there to take that position because that, that seam, def, seam wide receiver is going to go ahead and mess that up. And then you can see the guy over the middle of the field, and then you've obviously got this deep crossing route against cover three. So that's essentially what you can do with that. Now, cover six is uh, a formation that I found that if you see the alignments correctly, so you see how this guy's shading on the inside, you got a guy shading outside. Um, this is a kind of play that uh, is a play that you can get yourself one play touchdown. So let's go ahead and see if this works out. All right, so take a look at the alignment of these defenders. You've got an outside shade on Waddle. You got an inside shade with Hill, and you got a guy lined up directly over Chosen. That's showing me cover six because I got a too high sell or a too high safety uh, look. So what I do is I streak up my outside my my slot receiver, and what happens, which didn't happen in that particular play, is that you're going to have a situation uh, where the defenders actually bump into each other. And uh, it's going to be a situation where they um, s will rub off of each other and give you an opportunity for a huge play. So this is another situation, too, um, where the defenders actually don't play this cross. They actually go over the streak route with cover six. So what I like to do is I like to watch the defenders. And if the one guy carries... Basically, I can hit this this route over the top if he carries with chosen. If he doesn't carry with chosen, then I'm going to go ahead and um, do uh, do the other thing. So, um, once again, guys, thank you for your support. This is basically just uh, you know a, a, a breakdown of the scheme. I've got a couple of game plays underneath it. I'm going to keep refining it, playing around with different motions and moving uh, moving guys around a little bit. But this is a good scheme to go ahead and use into in your arsenal. I'm going to jump into some other stuff, um, and I have to do write-ups. Write-ups take time, man. It's like copy-pasting, writing things up. Uh, so I apologize for any kind of delays, but this is how I'm going to run this scheme. I'll post some gameplay for you guys to take a look at. So thank you for your support. Until next time.